The genetic code of DNA contains segments called genes, which direct the process of protein synthesis. Protein synthesis begins with gene expression and the process of transcription. During transcription, a DNA template from the antisense strand is used to form a single strand of mRNA. During translation, the mRNA message is used by ribosomes to generate a specific sequence of amino acids, a polypeptide. The amino acid sequence in the polypeptide determines the shape and function of the final protein product. Let's take a look at the process of translation. Protein synthesis occurs on the ribosomes in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Cells have many ribosomes, and each ribosome is built from ribosomal RNA and protein. Translation is initiated when the rRNA of the ribosome interacts with the start codon of the mRNA. A codon describes three consecutive RNA nucleotides. The triplet sequence AUG is called the start codon. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid. This can be determined by using a codon chart. Let's practice using the chart with these three codons. The first base in the codon is A, so we'll be looking in the A row. The second base is U, so we will look down the U column. We can see that the codon AUG is the start codon that codes for MET, which is an abbreviation for the amino acid methionine. In the second codon, the first base is U and the second base is A. UAU codes for TYR, an abbreviation for the amino acid tyrosine. In our third codon, the first base is G and the second base is C. GCU codes for the amino acid alanine. As the mRNA sequence moves through the ribosome three bases at a time, a molecule called tRNA brings the corresponding amino acid to the ribosome. Each tRNA molecule carries a specific amino acid and has an anticodon sequence that temporarily base pairs with the mRNA codon. The amino acid carried by tRNA is transferred to the growing polypeptide chain. The ribosome facilitates the reaction that forms covalent bonds between amino acids. This process of elongation continues until a stop codon is reached. The stop codon signals the release of the polypeptide chain. This is called termination. The polypeptide chain will bend, fold, and twist into a three-dimensional protein with a specific shape and function. Between eukaryotes and prokaryotes, there are a few key differences in the process of protein synthesis. In eukaryotes, the processes of transcription and translation are compartmentalized. This means that each reaction occurs separately in specific parts of the cell. Transcription occurs in the nucleus, while translation happens through ribosomes on the rough endoplasmic reticulum outside the nucleus. Prokaryotes have free-floating DNA and cytoplasmic ribosomes only, so transcription and translation are not compartmentalized. They occur simultaneously. As the mRNA is being transcribed, ribosomes are already starting the process of translation. In eukaryotes, mRNA processing happens between transcription and translation. Introns are removed while exons are spliced together. A GTP cap and a poly A tail are added chemical modifications. Prokaryotic genes do not contain introns, and there is no time for mRNA processing between transcription and translation. What's fascinating is that all organisms use the same genetic code and build proteins from the same 20 amino acids. This is evidence of common ancestry.